Senior Class President Carson Steyer will now lead his classmates in the tassel ceremony. Seniors, you may now turn your tassel. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020, Old Fort's 103rd graduation. We are all very proud of you and your accomplishments. We look forward to seeing the mark you leave on the world as you have left on Old Fort School. Pastor Mark Quinter will now close this ceremony with our benediction. And let's close together in prayer. Lord, as we close this graduation celebration, we close as we began by proclaiming your greatness, God, and by thanking you for it. Thank you, great God, for the future of each of these graduates, which is no mystery to you. Thank you, great God, for your, your plans that are not to harm those who you love, but to prosper them and to give them hope and a future. Thank you, great God, for, the, for whole lives that lay before each of these young men and young women that have yet to be lived and that you desire to bless for all and lead for all who will embrace you. Lord God, we conclude this graduation celebration with a prayer of blessing. Lord, bless each graduating senior of Old Fort High School to love you, O oh Lord our God, with all their hearts and all their souls, all their minds and all their strength. Bless them, Lord, to know you and to be guided by you and by your hand in each step of their lives. Bless them with lives that, that honor you and others. Bless them with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Lord, we pray over each of them and their families for the purpose and fullness, each of them, for each of them and their families and the purpose and fullness that you've created them for. We commit these graduates to you, great God, in the name of Jesus we pray, amen. I would like to express my gratitude to all for attending the 103rd Old Fort High School graduation ceremony. I would also like to give a special thank you to Mrs. Julie Stowawi for our ceremony's beautiful flowers, Mrs. Amy DeRodes, for the musical contribution to the ceremony, and to Mr. Jared Bilger, Mrs. Carrie Frankert, and Mr. Chris Frankert for their efforts in helping to organize this special day. Additionally, I would like to thank the countless staff volunteers that helped to make this graduation just as special as our graduates. A special thank you goes to Mrs. Leanne King for all of her efforts for our students. I ask that you join me and a last round of applause to congratulate the class of 2020 on this momentous occasion. Adeline Quinter. Adeline will be attending Cedarville University to pursue a degree in biblical studies. Hi Adeline, this is mom. And dad. Congratulations, we are so proud of you and your accomplishments and how you live your life with integrity. And we are so excited to see what God's gonna do with you next, so just keep living for him. We love you. We love you Adeline. Allison Franks. Allison is entering the workplace or plans to pursue a career in art. It may not be a measure of physical strength or size. Instead, it's an inner strength that shows within your eyes. So much determination, so much want and drive. A spirit of enjoyment that shows we are alive. Allison Schultze. Allison will be attending Bowling Green State University to major in forensic chemistry. Words of wisdom from Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. Allison, we love, we love you. you. Allison Pence. Allison will be attending Terra State to pursue a degree in agribusiness management. Hey Al, it's mom and dad. And we want you to know how proud we are of all of your achievements and we're excited to see what your future holds for you. Love you. 
Andrea Ryder. Andrea will be attending the University of Finley to pursue a degree in occupational therapy. Congratulations, Old Fort Class of 2020. Andrea, we are so proud of you and all the battles you have overcome. We can't wait to see what your future successes will be. We'll always be your biggest supporters, there for you anytime, day or night, and we'll always love you. Continue to keep your head on straight and stick to your beliefs. Don't allow anyone to ever change you. Congratulations again to our oldest baby girl. Love mom and dad. Ashlyn Majors. Ashlyn will be attending The Ohio State University to pursue a degree in nursing. Hi Ashlyn, we're so proud of you and everything you've accomplished so far. You have such a bright future ahead of you and we can't wait to see where life's journey takes you. We, we love you. you. Ashton Sabito. Ashton will be attending Kent State with a focus on nursing. Congratulations Ashton, we love you and we are so proud of you. I love you baby girl so much. I'm proud of everything you've accomplished and look forward to the rest of your accomplishments. Bryce Bird. Bryce will be attending Toledo University to major in chemical engineering. Bryce Bird, your dad and I are extremely proud of you. We are excited to see what happens in the next chapter of your life. We love you, good luck, and congratulations to the Old Four class of 2020. Carson Steyer. Carson will be attending Cleveland State University to major in nursing. Congratulations, Carson. We are proud of what you have accomplished and who you are. Your future is bright and everything you want to accomplish is attainable through dedication and hard work. We love you. Casey Seamer. Casey will be attending Terra State and Heidelberg University to pursue a degree in nursing. Congratulations, Casey. You did it. You graduated from high school. It wasn't the year you had hoped for, but it turned out to be an okay year after all. You should be very proud to be a fourth generation graduate of Old Ford High School. From band to softball, you're booked to great friends. You've accomplished a lot in your time at Old Ford. Good luck on your next chapter. We can't wait to see what the future holds. We love you and are very proud. Mom, Dad, and Alex. Cole Eckerd. Cole will be attending Bowling Green State University to major in computer science. Cole, I just want to say that I am very proud of you and good luck at BGSU in the fall. I love you. Coleman Bigelow. Coleman will be entering the Air Force National Guard. Remember, Cole, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. You learned a lot this year about overcoming challenges and persevering when things didn't, weren't so sweet. And I have no doubt that you will continue to do anything you want with hard work and effort. And when you slip and maybe begin to lose faith in yourself, just pick up the phone and I will be here to remind you how amazing you are. Love you. Cinder Jamison. Cinder is currently undecided on a college. She plans to pursue a degree in interior design. Congratulations, Cinder, on your graduation from Beaufort. We are all so proud of you. Good luck with all your future plans. Way, Way to go, go, Cinder. We love you. Devin Stacy. Devin plans to attend Terra State with a focus in welding. Devin, you have struggled so much and you have overcome so many challenges. I'm so very proud of you, and the sky's the limit for you now. I love you. Emily Batesel. Emily will be attending Heidelberg University to pursue a double major in secondary education and English. We are extremely proud of you, Emily. You accomplished more than we could have expected. Work hard, but also enjoy your college life at Heidelberg. I'm sure all your dreams will come true. Gregory Steyer. Gregory is entering the workforce. Well, Gregory, you did it. You have always liked to be a challenge, so it stands to reason that you would have a memorable and challenging graduation. We love you and are so proud of everything you've accomplished and can't wait to watch you succeed with all the challenges of adulthood. Congratulations on graduation. We love you. Gustavo Negrete. Gustavo is entering the workforce with a focus in landscaping. Gustavo, congratulations on your high school graduation. We are all so proud of you. With your hard work and determination, you are capable of an amazing future. Stay positive and keep smiling. From Mrs. Cobb. Gwen Kaiser. Gwen will be entering the Army Reserves in August. Gwendolyn, I'm so proud of you. I hope you continue to hold your head up, 
and always look at the bright side of things when times get tough you've done so great i know you've got a lot more great things to achieve in life be strong be who you are don't change for anybody go after your goals don't stop for anything i love you harley broski harley is entering the workforce harley you are so creative i can't wait to see what your future holds congratulations on your graduation from mrs wax jade smith jade will be attending stotzenberger college with a focus on surgical technology Jade, we are all very proud of you and very excited to see what you're going to be doing with your future. No matter what you choose, we will support you. We love you. Jesse Lane. Jesse will be entering the Air Force. Jesse, you were never meant to blend in, but to stand out and plow paths for the future generations to follow. Dad and I are so proud of the person that you have become and are becoming. We love you and will always have your back. We love you and very proud of you. Johnny Barr. Johnny is currently undecided on a college. He plans to attend a tech trade school with a focus on computers. Hey, Johnny Barr, super proud of you. Class of 2020, congratulations, and uh, just look forward to great things in the future from you. Hi, Johnny, we just love you so much. We're so proud of you. Um, I love your good character and your um, loving heart that you have. It's been a blessing to raise you, and we look forward to great things that God has in store for you. Love you. John Kirsting. John is entering the workforce with a focus as an electrician. John, as we've watched you grow throughout the years, it has been a privilege. We look forward to seeing what the future brings for you, Papa and Mimi. Jordan Smith. Jordan will be attending the University of Mount Union to pursue a degree in finance. Jordan, we want to tell you that we love you so much and are so proud of the person you've become. It gives us great pride when people tell us what a nice and respectful son we have raised. Your senior year didn't end as any of us as expected, but you have your whole life to make up for it. Know that we are here for you along your next journey in life, no matter what path you take. Always know that we love you and are here for you. Congratulations. Juliana Bates. Juliana plans to pursue a career as a correctional officer. Kiana Bates. Kiana plans to attend Owens Community College to pursue a career as a dental hygienist. Hi girls, it's Mrs. A. First, I wanna say congratulations on your graduation. I hope you both know how very proud of you that I am. I'm so excited to see where your futures take you. A couple things I want you to always remember. First, I'm always here for you. You know where and how to find me. Second, don't lose sight of your dreams. If you want to be an astronaut, go for it. You want to be an engineer, go for it. You want to be the president of the United States? Well, we better talk first. <laughs> you know I'm kidding, kind of. Third, be proud of yourself and each other. You have worked so hard to get to this point. And fourth and final, be a good worker, always. No matter what job you end up having, be dependable, responsible, and passionate. That's it, no more advice from Mrs. A. Take care and behave. Caleb Wilkinson. Caleb is currently undecided on a college. He plans to pursue a degree in business and play baseball. Congratulations, Caleb. We are so proud of you and look forward to watching you chase after your goals and your dreams. We love you, son. And to the class of 2020, here's to your new dreams, new possibilities, and new tomorrows. Congratulations with all our love, the Wilkinsons. Karina Aldrich. Karina will be attending Heidelberg University to pursue a degree in education. Congratulations on graduating, Karina. We are so proud of you and excited to see what great things you will do next. We love you and hope all your dreams for the future come true. Kaylee Wingett. Kaylee is going to further her cosmetology career. Kaylee, you did it. Congratulations on your graduation. You've worked so hard and we are so proud of all you've achieved. Your future is bright. From Mrs. Baker. Madison Shaw. Madison will be attending Terra State to pursue a degree in diagnostic medical sonography. Madison, I'm so proud of all your accomplishments. As a seventh grader, you always wanted to work with x-rays and you haven't changed your mind. Um, and I know you'll be the best sonographer after you graduate from Owens College. I love you. Madison, be bold enough to use your voice, brave enough to listen to your heart, and strong enough to live the life you've always imagined. I love you. Marquis Harris. 
Marquis will be attending Ohio Northern University to pursue a degree in social work or sociology. She will continue to play softball at the collegiate level. Marquis, you were so precious at the beginning at five pounds, five ounces. And as you embark on this new journey, know that we are your biggest fans. We can't wait to see what God has in store for you. So dream big and keep God first. We love you, Chica. We love you, baby girl. Mason Salas. Mason is currently undecided on a college or university. He plans to earn a degree in information technology. Congratulations on your graduation, Mason. Even though it's been a tough year to do this, you've kept your head up and made the best of it, which shows the true character of the man that you are. We can't wait to see what your future holds. We love you to the moon and back. Best wishes. Matthew Hunter. Matthew is going to the University of Finley to pursue a degree in physical therapy. Congratulations, Matthew, on your academic achievement. Graduating with honors is something to be proud of. We'd like to wish you well as you continue your plan to earn a degree in physical therapy at the University of Finley. Your entire family is extremely proud of you. All our love. Morgan Heilman. Morgan plans to attend Owens Community College and is currently undecided. Morgan, we're so proud of all your hard work and dedication. You're gonna do amazing things in the medical field. Now go show this great big world what a small town girl is really made of. Nicole Holland. Nicole is entering the workforce. She will be working at Angie's Angels Child Development Center. Nicole, congratulations. Your dad and I are so proud of you. High school held struggles and victories, just like life ahead of you will. Your Nana would say, trust in the Lord with all your heart and he will direct your path. Noah Nelson. Noah is entering the workforce. Nolan Nelson. Nolan is entering the workforce. Noah and Nolan, you truly have a heart of gold and would do anything for anyone. You guys are gonna go so far in life. Congratulations. Love mom and your family. Samuel Ickes Jr. Samuel is entering the workforce with a focus on construction. Hey Sam. It's so hard to wrap up in a few seconds how we feel about you reaching this milestone. So let me put it simply. Sam, we are so proud of you and the man we've watched you become. Today and always, hold your head high and know that a little progress each day adds up to big results. Congratulations to you and the class of 2020. Remember, there is no script. I can't wait to see what the future holds because I know you are each capable of amazing things. Savannah McCoy. Savannah will be attending Defiance College to pursue a degree in criminal justice. She will continue to play softball at the collegiate level. Hey Savannah, I just wanted to tell you how proud I am of you, everything that you have accomplished and everything that you have ahead of you. Um, good luck and I will be behind you every step of the way. I love you. Hi Savannah, congratulations on graduating from high school. Couldn't be any more proud of you from your academics to your sports. Whatever you choose to do in life, I hope you find happiness and success. And always remember that I love you. TJ Ritchie. TJ is entering the workforce with a plan to start his own business. It's your graduation day, TJ. We are so proud of you. Remember to believe in yourself as much as we believe in you. This is the ending of only one chapter and the beginning of anything you want. Thank you for being a kind-hearted, lovable kid we love you, Mom and Dad. Dear Ryan, embarking on a journey which began some time ago, how could you have imagined all the things you come to know? You learn to use each challenge as an opportunity to overcome each problem despite adversity. It wasn't always easy keeping up with your friends at school, but you held on to your beliefs and followed the golden rule. Your graduation signals us that you are on your way so spread your wings and fly, my dear Ryan, forever and a day. Congratulations, we're proud of you. Love mom and dad. 